So the healthcare market in the Twin Cities is very complex. Uh, we have a lot of um, highly integrated systems um, that are very refined in their processes, so it's very competitive. The flip side is people are very collaborative in the Twin Cities, and so we often work together on our quality improvement strategies and to really try to improve the care for the community. So CHN, Community Health Network, uh, was formed um, just before uh, 2013. We really consist of two large primary care groups. There are probably 300,000 overall patients that we manage. So initially when we formed uh, Community Health Network, there were a number of challenges and we really spent a good portion of our first um, uh, months of meetings putting our infrastructure together. Initially in trying to find achievement or, or find success with working with the population, we started with our own data. So we thought we'd just take some data runs, uh, there'd be some aha moments and we'd be able to work on those projects. Um, while there were, it's never that simple. There are no silver, silver bullets in data. We decided we needed help uh, and we needed to look externally. We began to realize that we didn't have a good platform for having a conversation around how we were even going to do our care coordination. So we invited a number of different vendors to our board meeting. I was really excited by the presentation that Ferros Innovations gave to our ACO Quality Committee and not only the results that they were able to demonstrate in improved quality of care, decreased cost, but how they engaged our patients across the spectrum of care with specific diseases. What Theros has brought that is different than other traditional care models that we have in place or have pursued in the past is it brings a technology piece that engages the patient. The Pharos program is a way for our care managers and our nurses to interact and touch patients in between visits before they get into some kind of trouble with their diseases or their conditions. It's giving us an opportunity to expand care into a realm that we haven't done before. It's providing care to patients while they're at home and on their time frame and on their terms rather than always bringing them into the office. We have seen an increase in patient engagement. We have seen high patient satisfaction. It has more closely tied the care team across our organization. We've been able to see data comparing uh, patients in our MSSP who were not engaged with Pharos versus patients who were uh, engaged with Pharos. And so what we've seen is that, uh, for instance, we're seeing a reduction in all causes admissions. We also are seeing a significant reduction in readmissions, but the readmission rate in the non-Ferros was, last time I looked, was somewhere around 18%, and the readmission rate in those involved with Ferros was closer to 6%. It appears we'll probably come very close to meeting our shared savings threshold. And with that, um, Ferros is uh, the dominant factor of what's putting us over that process. Just this investment in Ferros uh, that we're putting in we could have probably a four or five times return on investment. We had an internal medicine physician who is by nature skeptical, but came to us and said that the best thing we had done within the last year was implement the Ferros Innovations Program. His patients are happy. They very much feel that someone cares about them through the daily check-ins that this program provides and they are engaged in their care. It's a simple win, but it shows truly how much difference we have made in our patients' experience to know that someone is watching and caring for them in a new and different way.